What's going on, guys? We had a pretty good trade go down in NHL today. Buffalo trading Marcus Johansson to the Minnesota Wild in exchange for Eric Stoll. One for one trade, you know, no extras or anything, picks, retained salary, anything like that. Uh, both guys actually only have one year left on their deals, so both teams obviously looking for a bit of a shakeup. Minnesota keeps trying to get younger. Obviously, traded Coral for Ryan Donato, then they traded Granlin for Fiala. Now they're making this trade here, trading Stoll, who I think is like seven years older than Johansson. I want to stay he's like. 35, Johansson's like 28. I think you see Johansson doesn't have the most value uh, in games. 20 years old, 83 overall. Top six potential there, making four and a half million, so not the greatest contract. Um, it'll say two years, but again, they're kind of a year behind. Playmaker was actually a, what was that? 24th overall pick back in the first round, 2009. He's a decent player. Um, this year, I don't think he really had the best year. Uh, 30 points in 60 games, so he's averaging a point every other game. Buffalo, obviously, not the greatest year either, but I think Johansson, you know, can do better than that. And then Minnesota, I think, honestly, is trading the better player here in Eric Stahl, but Eric Stahl's older, so I think, you know, uh, Minnesota's basically trading a bit of talent for youth in Johansson, but he's still not that young at 28. Uh, so Stahl is now 35. You can see in-game, 85 overall, so a couple overall higher. Also has top six potential, making a bit less money too, though. So high overall with less money, obviously, going to have more trade value. His also says two years left, but it's just one. It's the second overall pick back in 2003 behind Marc-Andre Fleury. Um, can play center or wing. I think he's played both here for the Wild. Personally, though, like, Minnesota Wild don't have that much center depth. Galchenyuk might not be coming back. So then you got, like, what? Miku Koivu, Luke Kunin, Eric Sinek, maybe. I'm um, really not a huge fan of their center depth. And, like, Johansson's a winger. So they're getting even less center depth in this trade. Um, as you can see here, the trade value is just not even close. Uh, medium difficulty is what we're on right now. Even if it was on easy, I don't think it's going to make a difference. Um, two, I forgot to mention for Stahl, he actually had a better year last year. Six more games played at 66, but 47 points. Um, definitely, you know, scoring more than just every other game like Johansson. So the big thing here um, is, you know, Buffalo getting a more experienced player, and I think a bit better player in Stahl. Minnesota getting a bit younger there with Marcus Johansson. Um, I think we already know the answer for this trade. And yeah, Minnesota says no here. And I'm sure you guys want to see what Buffalo's lines could look like next year. I actually took a look at the roster on Daily Faceoff and noticed that they had Mark Johansson at center. So maybe Johansson was actually playing a better center, but I think, you know, naturally he's a winger. So Stahl should feel that second line center role a lot better. Uh, first line, I think you just go with your three best guys and Skinner, Eichel, Reinhardt. Olofsson had a very good year last year, so he got injured. Playing with Stahl, I think could be really good. And I've actually got middle stat, second line left wing, I think. Next year for him is going to be kind of like now or never. You really got to prove like, you know, you're an NHL player. We'll see if you can get it done. I think, you know, playing with Stone Olsen, definitely a good chance. Could even put him on that top line with Eichel and Reinhardt and really just no excuses at that point. You got to perform. Uh, the bomb six there, you got Cahoon. I think Cousins is going to make the NHL team. Ock Post is going to be that bomb six. Uh, Thompson should probably have a good role in that bomb six. Still a pretty young player too. Uh, Gergensen, Jimmy Vc. So offense, you know, maybe they'll sign a guy even, make this a bit better. Defense led by Dallin for sure. A lot of trade rumors around guys like Miller, Ristolainen, and Montour. See if they move one of them. You even got McCabe and Yoki Harju on that bottom pair. So I'm curious that they will move a defenseman, uh, especially too. I think they could make a trade for a goalie. Not really sold on Allmark being an NHL starter. Hutton's definitely, you know, a career backup slash fringe starter goalie. So uh, Buffalo, I don't think they're done making moves yet. Curious to see what else they do this offseason, but but next we're gonna see if the trade goes through as Minnesota. All right, guys, so I feel like we already know Buffalo's gonna say yes to this. I mean, look at the trade values. Eric Stahl's worth at least double, maybe triple Marcus Johansson again, higher rated and a better contract. And honestly, I do think that Buffalo won this trade in real life. Yes, Johansson's younger, but he's still 28 years old. It's not like he's a young player by any means. So I think you know you're getting Eric Stahl, who's a veteran, been around the league. He's a captain. He's won a Stanley Cup. Honestly, kind of all things Buffalo is missing. Like, not only does he fill that second line center role really well, I think, behind Jack Eichel, but they need a veteran presence, a guy who's won. If you look at their team, they really don't have that. Like, let's take a look. Matt Hunwick, that's not going to work. Sabotka, for League Simmons. These aren't, like, you know, leader type of guys. Everyone else under 30 years old. Um, Eichel, obviously, this could be a leader, but he's younger. A guy like Eric Stahl, he knows what it takes to win in this league. Buffalo's been out of the playoffs, like, what, last eight, nine years in a row. So, I think it's a great trade for Buffalo in terms of just every single facet. And really, for Minnesota, it's not too bad either as they are, you know, still getting younger. And yeah, obviously they said yes to that. The value was like three times on our side. And next year, guys, I'm trying to predict Minnesota's lines for next season. Obviously, it's a little bit tough. We don't know what's going to happen. Looking at their team on daily faceoff, you can see they had Eric Stahl playing first line center. So obviously, losing your 1C is pretty big. They had Eric Sinek as the 2C. So I just got him moving up to the first line. Playing with Parise and Kaprizov. Kaprizov will be playing in the 2020-21 season. Playing over in Russia right now, he's a great player. I think he's going to come over and be a star. How big of a star, I'm not sure. So I think they give him every chance to succeed. Playing on the first line with the best players. Uh, I got Zuccarello, Johansson, Fiala on the second line. I think losing Stahl, I already mentioned they don't really have a lot of center depth. Johansson might you know, fill in as a center for them. 
Uh, Donato, Galchenyuk, Kunin. Good chance Galchenyuk's not back with the team, but in case he is, I have him on that 3C roll. And then fourth line there, you got Hartman, Koivu, and Greenway. So they definitely have good depth. They just only have a superstar player. I'm sure that they're hoping uh, Kaprizov will fill that role. Uh, defensively, I think they have a really good top four as well. Uh, Suter, Spurgeon, Dumber, Rodin. I mean, they were a fringe team this year, like, you know, kind of every year more or less, aside from a couple years where they're, you know, pretty good playoff contenders. So um, next year for them, probably more of the same, you know, probably not last in the league. Probably not a contender, probably just outside the playoffs, um, unless they make you know some really big move to shake up this team one way or the other. But that's me, guys, for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.